We're coming off a violent holiday weekend in Milwaukee. There have been four shootings alone between Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Two of the victims are teens. Jason Calvey is live in the newsroom tonight with how you can help to stop the violence here. Hey, Sam, yeah, when you talk to the police chief or the sheriff or community activists, they say it's going to take everyone to stop the violence. Milwaukee's holiday weekend was interrupted by bullets. One shooting is way too many shootings. Not just one, but four shootings between Christmas Eve and Christmas. Milwaukee police report two on Sunday. A 17-year-old survived a shooting at 30th and Brown. Then on 107th and Mill, another person was shot and killed. It's hard to just grab a hold of it, like what's really going on in Milwaukee. You know, it's like there's a lot of mental health issues that's going on, just a lot of uh, different things that add, that add to the fuel of, of violence. And, you know, and we have to learn how to de-escalate the situation. On Christmas afternoon, Milwaukee police say someone shot into a car and hit a 15-year-old. It happened here on 11th and Ring. The teen is expected to survive. Christmas morning, police say someone shot a person during a robbery. It was at 27th and North. The 38-year-old victim is also expected to survive. It's terrible, you know, especially when you hear about teenagers getting shot. Milwaukee homicides are down this year, 22% when comparing so far this year with the same time last year. But that still means 166 homicides. Community activist Tracy Dent says you can play a role in stopping violence. A lot of kids just don't feel like they, you know, that, you know, people care about them. So they try to find love in the streets, and the streets don't love anybody. As the city now looks to a brighter new year. There's always hope. There's always hope. Now, Milwaukee police are still searching for the shooters. They ask if you have any tips to call them or Crime Stoppers.